March Madness is right around the corner. The Nichols men's and women's basketball teams aren't focused on what has transpired this far, but rather what they could do now to make a run in the conference tournament. The start of the men's season was a tough one to swallow, and the team continues to have their ups and downs, but the past is something they can't change. The beginning of the season, we started out kind of rough uh, due to some of the injuries, injuries we had. Uh, we played big teams, but other than that, we fought through all the adversity. You know, we got better as a team through practice. It's kind of rocky, like, right at the moment because we lost a, a couple games that we should have won. And we lost to a couple teams that we should have beat, so our record isn't where we wanted to be at, and we should have a higher place in the rankings to get into the tournament, but that's not how it is right now, so we just have to play it out. Nichols fell short in some games they should have won, but they persevered and put themselves in a comfortable position heading into the stretch run. Um, we learned that we can't really take a day off on the court because that day off can be bad. It could lead to multiple games and have us playing bad and losing. Never give up. You know, we, we let a couple of games go away, get away from us, you know, in the fourth quarter, last couple of minutes. And Coach Piper, you know, he tells us every day, you know, just because we lose doesn't make us, you know, a worse player than what we are. You know, we just keep, keep working hard, you know, and we're fine. You know. Close losses could have haunted the Colonels for most of the year but their belief in themselves propelled them into the conference tournament. We have the best players in the conference, in my opinion. Uh, Fred's probably the best postman in the conference, you know. And with his leadership, you know, we could do anything. And, you know, we're, we're ready to upset anybody. So, yeah, we're coming, you know. Nichols is in sixth place. While there is no chance to catch the top three teams, there are several scenarios in which the Colonels could leapfrog southeastern Louisiana and Sam Houston State, but all would involve Nichols winning at least three of the final four in order to receive the first round bye. While the men's season has been a bit shaky, the women's season is the best in program's history. I think we started off pretty well. Um, we have a winning record, like we broke the season wins or whatever. and. Uh, it didn't go as I expected. I thought it was going to be, you know, I guess a lot faster than it did. But coach just told me I had to be patient. I had to wait and everything was going to kind of uh, unfold as it was supposed to. We had a tough one against Central Arkansas first game. And we were pretty shocked about how we lost that game. So after that, we pretty much set a goal that we weren't going to have that happen to us anymore. And we pretty much went on a winning streak right then and there after that. At points in the season, it might have seemed this team was a little stubborn, but it was their way of getting better. We were kind of like a little kid, you know, whenever your mom tells you don't touch a hot stove, we have to kind of touch it in order for us to learn. So it's kind of frustrating, but, you know, like the last game, we, uh, boxing out has been our one of our issues. And last game we lost at the end because, we, you know, we missed box out. So it's kind of like little things like that that we kind of have to learn kind of without happening. But we're still young, so still have to learn it. Just staying consistent. Um, we have our stretches in games where we go out by 10 and um, we get too complacent. And that would have to be one of the hardest things is keeping that momentum going. The Colonels have clinched a berth in the conference tournament. And while the number one spot is still up for grabs, the overriding concern for Nichols is to finish strong. Last year, it was pretty much like we were trying to get there. And now we're trying to get like a really good seed, which is uh, it's a lot more relieving, not as stressful because, you know, instead of fighting to get in, we're fighting to be number one now, so it feels pretty good. I mean, we still have a few games left. We play some people that are ahead of us, and we're all kind of one game. We're all kind of anybody can beat anybody. So it, uh, number one's still up for grabs. I hope we can, you know, get that number one spot, but if not, we're still sitting pretty for the tournament. I have to say that's a big, big achievement. Um, that's pretty much something that we set for ourselves because we went last year, we want to go this year. Um, we want to actually go in the top four. I've made it um, this far, and, <laughs> and I just want to come and uh, try to achieve the goal to get to, get to Katie and um, achieve that championship. We actually wanted to uh, get first place, and that's still a goal. Um, that's still something that could be in our reach. And, you know, we're never going to give up, but um, that was something I wanted to do. And this being my senior season, I don't want my last game to end the first round in Katie. I want to keep going and I want us to keep playing and be able to show my skills and what I'm capable of bringing to the team. And I just want to have, make my mark here because, you know, you always remember great players, but you never forget winners. Qualifying for the conference tournament is one thing, but where you are seated is another. 
The top four teams earn a bye, while the top two earn double byes, pushing them straight into the semifinals. The women are currently in fifth place with four games to go, but only two and a half games out of the top position. Oral Roberts, Lamar, Sam Houston, and McNeese are all ahead of the Colonels, but with three of those four teams left on the schedule, Nichols can shake up the standings and running the table might just send them straight into the semifinals. Both teams are ready to finish the season strong and head to Katy, Texas for the Southland Conference Tournament. No matter where they are seated, the Colonels are ready to bring back championships to their school. For Colonel Basketball Weekly, I'm Ashley Dufresne.